I suppose if we were gonna rank Sierra's current lineup compared to her last one, this Geo dude that she's got in the first spot at least maybe slightly harder than Murkrow, but uh, the team go rocket leaders these days. They're usually pretty easy, and so usually it just takes one video from me, but if you guys are struggling past this, then please let me know because I can always make more, but we're essentially gonna see two different perspectives here, and so they're both from a level 47 account, and so the only reason that would be important is Team Go Rocket is harder if your level is higher. So, like, let's say you're level 30 or something, you're gonna be fighting a Geo dude much lower CP than mine is at level 47, right? So you can see the only consistency here is that, uh, well, there's two things mainly going up against this Geo dude right here. So one thing to know is that Geo dude is rock and ground. If you ever see Rhyhorn in the future, this is gonna apply to Rhyhorn or basically any Pokemon that fits that bill. Golem, you know, Rhyperior, etc. That's gonna take doubly super effective, like 256% damage rather than the usual 160, 162, whatever the percentage is for super effective. So that's gonna be from water and grass. And so that's why we used uh, not only just Empoleon earlier, which did actually end up fainting. And the interesting thing is going up against a Ferrothorn that also fainted, we nerfed ourselves on the right side. I mean, we're nerfing ourselves on both sides because I try to keep these videos below the Great League as much as I can, or if it just doesn't fit like a, you know, Lucario often or legendaries, you don't often have those below 1500. So, you know, I guess that's the time when I wouldn't do it, but here we go. But yeah, an Empoleon at like 1460 did not last even as long as a Ferrothorn at 1390 something, wasn't it? And so here in both cases, we did also plan for that middle spot Pokemon, and that's why we put in Wigglytuff over there on the right, and Wigglytuff normally I don't really mess around with on the Team Go Rocket, just because I'm usually looking for a more spammy moveset combination. It's just, while I give a, usually in these videos a lot of like hard and fast, like general things that can help you, there's just gonna be those like one or two really niche cases, and it would be actually Sableye. Sableye is sort of the niche case where if you wanted to deal super effective damage, fairy typing, you know, the way to go right there. It's just, and the thing about Wigglytuff is that no matter what, it's gonna resist the typing of Sableye's fast attack, you know, move, so that's helpful. Vaporeon was a beast we actually used to show back in the days. This was kind of in the old days of Team Go Rocket before I would do within the Great League, you know, below 1500 CP. Like, if you have a Vaporeon that's as close to 3000 as you can get it, there's a lot of the times if you pair that, you know, water gun with Aqua Tail, that's probably one of its more spammy move combinations. So putting that together a lot of the times can, you know, Vaporeon is just so defense heavy, you can outlast a lot of the fights while dealing super effective damage to anything that's weak to water, of course. And like we said, it carried over into the Geodude fight as well. Like, you know, Empoleon, it was nice to have a water charge attack. The problem was with Metal Claw, you know, like we could go water on our fast attack, but having Metal Claw, like, yeah, we're dealing super effective damage. It's just, we're trying to look for energy generation there. There's a lot of trade-offs and things, but having a defense and kind of HP heavy Pokemon like Vaporeon went good against the counterpart of Steelix, which is kind of the same, right? Steelix, a lot of defense, that bulk. You guys may have noticed the left side was an all water team and going up against Houndoom when it's using Snarl, Crawdont's gonna resist that because it's part dark, but it also would have resisted Fire Fang because it's part water. So that was sort of a nice option again below the Great League. But please, like I said earlier, let me know if there's a Sierra lineup outside of these that you're really having trouble with. We can advise you or make a video. Click an end screen to see one of the other Team Go Rocket leaders. And thanks for viewing.